Hi, I'm Kristen Amdahl and welcome back to my studio. I've been a teacher, designer, and author in the craft industry for over 15 years. In this video, I want to show you some tips and tricks for making one of the projects from my brand new book, 52 Crochet Gifts. In this video, I'm going to show you some tips for making the Lucinda Geometric Mesh Scarf. Filet mesh is the foundation for this unusually shaped scarf. The zigzag shape folds into beautiful ruffles when draped around the neck. You will need one ball of Be So Fine Bling yarn, which is my number one fingering weight bamboo yarn with a thread of pure silver plied right into the yarn. And you'll also need a size four millimeter or G6 crochet hook. Let's get started. The pattern includes written instructions, schematic, and charts. First, you wanna tie your yarn to your crochet hook and we're gonna start with a chain. The pattern calls for chain 90. Double crochet in the ninth chain from your hook. We don't count the loop on our hooks. We're gonna count back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Double crochet is yarn over your hook. Insert your hook in the chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. Chain two. Skip the next two chains and double crochet in the next chain. Chain two, skip the next two chains and double crochet in the next chain. And you want to repeat this all the way across. This is what the end of row one should look like. Row two begins with a chain five, which counts as a double crochet chain two. Turn your work and double crochet in the next double crochet. Chain two and double crochet in the next double crochet. And you wanna repeat this across the entire row. On the last repeat, we're going to work chain two and then double crochet into the third chain over, which would be the equivalent of the top of the double crochet portion at, while skipping the chain two. Remember there was a large chain at the beginning of that row. Row three is a repeat of row two, chain five. It counts as a double crochet chain two, turn your work and double crochet in the next double crochet. Notice how I'm hooking my ring finger on my dominant hand through the chain. I find that when you're starting with a, or working a stitch after a long chain, it's helpful to kind of wrangle that chain into place. When I do that, it's much easier for me to hold the proper tension on my work while I insert my crochet hook to work a stitch. When I don't secure the long chain like that, the work loses a little bit of tension. So I find that to be extremely helpful. And for the rest of the row, we will chain two and double crochet in the next double crochet. Notice how I was having trouble re getting into both of the top loops of the next stitch. It's because it was the work was kind of working its way backwards like that. And in order to find both loops, sometimes you have to massage the stitches and massage the work to get them to sit right. This is done on a thin yarn with a somewhat larger hook so that it has the ability to stretch out and show a lot of negative space when we block it. And while you're working with thinner yarns, and larger hooks, what'll happen is your work is gets a little sloppy looking. It's not sloppy, it just looks like it because it's not blocked yet. And so as I just play around with the work, massage the stitches a little bit, now I can see both of the top loops of my stitch much better. So I'll yarn over my hook, insert my hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and finish my double crochet after all. Okay, we want to repeat row two for the length of each section that we're making. Remember the scarf is like a zigzag or a lightning bolt shape. 
So you're working in sections of little squares until we shift the direction. And when we shift the direction, it's going to be in a multiple of three plus eight. So on the actual scarf, we did a chain 23, but we'll do a smaller section here. So we'll do a, but we're still going to do a multiple of three plus eight. So there's one multiple, two multiples, and then eight. Okay, turn our work. And double crochet in the ninth chain from our hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Chain two. Skip the next two chains. Double crochet in the next double crochet. Chain two. Actually, that was double. Cro Skip the next two chains. Double crochet in the next chain. Skip the next two chains. Chain two. And then double crochet in the next double crochet. Now, on this row, as we're adding extra mesh pieces on this side, we're going to eliminate them on the other side. So now we'll work in our established pattern of chain two and double crochet in the next double crochet and to, you know, follow along on your pattern to see how many times that you do this. On my reduced size sample, I'm going to work halfway across. And so now, instead of doing our six meshes over here, we've shifted a little bit, and now I've got my same six meshes, but they're shifted over here. So now, for the remainder of this section, we'll repeat row two again, which was chain five. Turn your work. Double crochet in the next double crochet. Chain two double crochet in the next double crochet, and repeat this all the way across. And this is what your work should look like at the end of that row. And you wanna repeat this for the full length of your scarf, where I believe on the scarf it's six repeats per block before we shift. I did a smaller size sample here, but based on the multiples that I just showed you, if you aren't following the written pattern with the really amazing chart, you could modify it from here. So for the tutorial, I did one more repeat, and you can see now we have three of these blocks that are shifted over as we go in that really unique and unusual lightning bolt shape. This would be a really cool modern doily or a really cool modern throw in the right type of house, but we're doing it as a scarf and in the thinner yarn, especially with this sparkly yarn, it's going to make an absolutely beautiful scarf. When you're done making your shifting blocks, we're going to start the edging and begin working in the round. On the first row of the round, we're going to work double crochets around the entire perimeter. And before we get started, I wanted to show you that what we'll be doing is working along the edges that have the chain twos and the double crochets. We're gonna work two double crochets in each chain two space and one double crochet in each double crochet. On these exterior corners, we're gonna work seven double crochets in those corners. So we'll start, we're gonna chain three, which counts as our first double crochet, and work two double crochets in the next chain two space. One double crochet in the next chain two, in the next double crochet, two double crochets in the next chain two space, one double crochet in the next double crochet. Again, we're gonna massage our work so we can find where to put our stitch. And then on this exterior corner here, which is a chain seven, or it's actually a chain five, sorry. We're going to work seven double crochets in this corner. Okay, then double crochet in the next double crochet. And now we're working in the side of rows here, which because these are mesh squares, this side of the row is still the equivalent of a chain two double crochet. So along the side of that double crochet, 
we'll work two double crochets and then in the join space here which would be the base of the stitch we'll also work a double crochet so for each square we're simply doing the equivalent of three double crochets regardless of whether it's in the chain two and the double or along the side of rows okay when we get to the interior corners like this we're going to skip these two squares and continue on here okay so we'll skip the next square skip the next square and then double crochet in the next double crochet two double crochets in the next chain two space double crochet in the next double crochet seven double crochets in the next exterior corner and we're going to repeat this all the way around Okay, round two begins with a foundation single crochet. The first foundation single crochet is a chain two. Insert your crochet hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one loop on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. Foundation half double crochet is yarn over your hook. Insert your hook in the side bar along the stitch that's last worked. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one loop on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. Foundation double crochet is yarn over your hook. Insert your hook in that bar along the side of the stitch just worked. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through one loop on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. And yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. And then we'll do a foundation, another foundation double crochet. Yarn over your hook. Insert your hook in the side bar of the last stitch worked. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through one loop on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. Then foundation treble crochet. Yarn over twice. Insert your hook in the side bar of the last stitch worked. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through one loop on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. Two loops on your hook. And yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. So we've done a foundation single crochet, half double crochet, two double foundation two foundation double crochets and a foundation treble crochet chain five turn our work now skipping the next two stitches along the last round of our edging we'll now slip stitch into the next stitch turn our work again and now working in that chain five space, we'll work a single crochet, half double crochet, two double crochets, and a treble crochet. Single, half, two doubles, and a treble. Okay, chain five turn our work, skip the next two stitches on the previous round, slip stitch into the next stitch, turn our work, and now working into that chain five space, we'll work a single crochet, a half double crochet, two double crochets, and one treble crochet. Okay, and that's the edging that we're going to comp that's the edging that we're going to repeat for the entire round of this scarf. The only difference is, except on the turning corners, you're going to repeat this whole action three times in the same stitch on the exterior corners, and you're going to skip two repeats on the interior corners. Let me show you that on the finished scarf. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. And don't forget, all the links from the things that we talked about in this video are available in the video description below. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. I'll see you in the next video.